Blessed is our God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, the comfort of the Spirit, true Lord, ever present, and fill us all things. Treasure your blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us. Cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, more remarkable than mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, more remarkable than mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, more remarkable than mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions, holy one, visit us and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, and deliver us from the evil one. For the Lord is the King, and the power and glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship thou our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Peace. 
unconditional love and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy temple and those who enter here with faith, reverence and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our Gibraltar, Isabel and San Antonio, and our Bishop is Grace Daniel, for the Reverend Presbyters, for the deacons in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our God, living in God, protected country, the United States of America, for the government and armed forces and all the people. For our God, loving in God, protected ancestral homeland, Ukraine, for all our ancestral homelands and their people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this city, for every city and community and the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for seeds and the weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for those who travel by land and sea and air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and the salvation of them all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, anger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, God, by your grace. Remembering our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the birth giver of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in all our life to Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For to you are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages.
Receiving witness to the coming of the Spirit, 
congregation of the children of Israel came into the wilderness of sin, which is between Elam and Sinai.
shall be so unto thee, but if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire, and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And Elijah saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel, and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes, and rent them in two pieces. He took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him, and went back, and stood by the bank of Jordan. And he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him, and smote the waters, and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he also had smitten the waters, they parted hither and thither, and Elijah went over. Wisdom. A reading is from the fourth book of Kings. You must be attentive. So Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Assyria, came with his horses and with his chariot, and stood at the door of the house of Elisha. And Elisha sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go and wash in Jordan seven times, and thy flesh shall come again to, to thee, and thou shalt be clean. But Naaman was wroth and went away and said, Behold, I thought he will surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God, and strike his hand over the place and recover the leper. Are not Abana and Farpar, rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters of Israel? May I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in a rage, and his servants came near and spake unto him, and said, My father, if the prophet had bid thee do some great thing, wouldest thou not have done it? How much rather then, when he saith unto thee, Wash and be clean? Then went he down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God. And his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child, and he was clean.
Cease to do evil, learn to do well, seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If you be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. Wisdom, the reading is from Genesis. Let us be attentive. And Jacob went on his way, and the angels of God met him. And when Jacob saw them, he said, This is God's host. And he called the name of that place Mahanaim. And Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau, his brother, into the land of Seir, the country of Edom. And he commanded them, saying, Thus shall you speak unto my lord Esau. Thy servant Jacob said thus, I have so sojourned with Laban, and stayed there until now. And I have oxen and asses, flocks and men servants and women servants. And I have sent to tell my lord that I may find grace in thy sight. And the messengers returned to Jacob, saying, we came to thy brother Esau, and also he cometh to meet thee, and four hundred men with him. Then Jacob was greatly afraid and distressed, and he divided the people that was with him, and the flocks, and herds, and the camels, into two bands, and said, If Esau come to the one company, and smite it, then the other company which is left shall escape. And Jacob said, O God, my father Abraham, and God of my father Isaac, the Lord which says to me, Return unto thy country, and to thy kindred, and I will deal well with thee. I am not worthy of the least of the mer thy mercies, for with my staff I have passed over this Jordan. This, um, the reading is from Exodus. Let us be attentive. And the daughter of Pharaoh came down to wash herself at the river, and her maidens walked along by the river's side. And when she saw the ark among the flags, she sent her maid to fetch it. And when she had opened it, she saw, saw the child, and behold, the babe wept. And she had compassion on him and said, This is one of the Hebrews' children. Then said his sister to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I, shall I go and call thee to, call to be a nurse of the Hebrew women, that she may nurse the child for thee? And Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Go. And the maid went and called the child's mother, and Pharaoh's daughter said unto her, Take this child away and nurse it for me, and I will give thee thy wages. And the woman took the child and nursed it. And the child grew, and she brought forth, <coughs> and she brought him unto Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. And she called his name Moses, and she said, Because I drew him out of the water. Wisdom. The reading is from Judges. Let us be And Gideon said unto God, If thou wilt save Israel by my hand, as thou hast said, behold, I will put a fleece of wool in the floor. And if the dew be on the fleece only, and it be dry upon all the earth beside, then shall I know that thou wilt save Israel by my hand, as thou hast said. And it was so, for he rose up early on the morrow, and thrust the fleece together, and raised the dew out of the fleece, a bowl full of water. And Gideon said unto God, Let not thine anger be hot against me, and I will speak but this once. Let me prove, I pray thee, but this once with the fleece. Let it now be dry only upon the fleece, and upon all the ground. Let there be dew. And God did so that night, for it was dry upon the fleece only, and there was dew on all the ground. Wisdom. A reading is from the third book of Kings. Let us be attentive. And Elijah said unto all the people, Come near unto me. And all the people came near unto him. And he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. And Elijah took twelve stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, unto whom the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel shall be thy name. And with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord. And he made a trench about the altar, as great as would contain two measures of seed. And he put the wood in order, and cut the bullock in pieces, and laid him on the wood, and said, Fill four barrels with water, and pour it on the burnt sacrifice, and on the wood. And he said, Do it the second time. And they did it the second time. And he said, Do it the third time. And they did it the third time. And the water ran round about the altar, and he filled the trench also with water. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near 
Jacob, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel, and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things at thy word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the good Lord, the Lord God, and that thou hast turned their heart back again. Then the fire of the Lord fell, and consumed the burnt sacrifice, and the wood, and the stones, and the dust, and licked up the water that was in the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces, and they said, The Lord, he is the God, the Lord, he is the God. Wisdom. A reading is from the fourth book of Cain. Let be attended to. And the men of the city of Jericho said unto Elisha, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of this city is pleasant, as my Lord see. But the water is not, and the ground barren. And he said, Bring me a new cruise, and put salt therein. And they brought it to him. And he went forth unto the spring of the waters, and cast the salt in there, and said, Thus saith the Lord, I have healed these waters. There shall not be from thence any more death or barren land. So the waters were healed unto this day, according to the saying of Elisha, which he stayed. Wisdom. A reading is from the prophecy of Isaiah. Let us be attentive. Thus saith the Lord, in an acceptable time have I heard thee, and in a day of salvation have I helped thee, and I will preserve thee and give thee for a covenant of the people, to establish the earth, to cause to inherit the desolate heritages, that thou mayest say to the prisoners, Go forth, to them that are in darkness, shew yourselves, that they, they shall feed in the ways, and their pastures shall be in all high places. They shall not hunger nor thirst, neither shall the heat nor sun smite them. For he that hath mercy on them shall lead them, even by the springs of water shall he guide them. And I will make all my mountains away, and my highways shall be exalted. Behold, these shall come from far, and lo, these from the north and from the west, and these from the land of Sinim. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. For the Lord hath comforted his people, and will have mercy upon his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord hath forsaken me, and my Lord hath forgotten me. Can a woman forget her sucking child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. Thus saith the Lord Almighty. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, God, by your grace. We thy great God, most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious lady, the birth of your God, and the Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and all our life, Christ our God. For you are holy, our God, and to you we give glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever.
Then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come, bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance, and begin not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. And the people asked him, saying, What shall we do then? He answereth and saith unto them, He that hath two coats, let him part him and part to him that hath none. And the, he that hath food, let him do likewise. Then came also publicans to be baptized, and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? And he said unto them, Exact no more than that which is appointed you. And the soldiers likewise demanded of him, saying, And what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. And as the people were in expectation, and all men mused in their hearts of John, whether he were the Christ or not, John answered, saying unto them all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to my loose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor, and will gather the wheat into his garner, but the chaff he will burn with fire unquenchable. And many other things in his exhortation preached he unto the people. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee.
things to you. It is fitting to glorify you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Oh, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. At this holy, mercy. may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord.
Five o'clock. 